Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Friday night at City Field, the Mets' seven game winning streak came to an end as they were beaten in 10 innings by the Boston Red Sox, 6 to 4. Carlos Torres, who was the hero on Thursday night in Philadelphia, didn't fare well in the 10th inning tonight, gave up three runs, including a home run, an inside the park home run, maybe, to <laughs> catcher Blake Swihart. Well, it was a game where the Mets got out early, 2 0, and a game where the Mets usually hang on and win. Uh, but this time, the Red Sox showed some resilience. They out-homered the Mets. Mets did not hit a home run tonight. The Red Sox hit three. They got it to Logan Verrett, who was trying to nurse a lead. Uh, he gave it up with three runs. That was in the seventh. And then Torres in the 10th uh, inning gave up his three runs with the Gary said the inside the park home run just barely over the center field orange line. It was called in play, but uh, the Red Sox uh, made it interesting in the bottom of the 10th. Red Sox pitchers walked 12, including four straight by the closer, Junichi Tozawa, who eventually got pulled in the bottom of the 10th. They held on. The good news for the yeah. Mets on this night was Matt Harvey on 11 days rest through a six scoreless inning. Overall, it was it was uh, definitely fresh, I, I can tell you that. But but as far as uh, you know, command-wise, I, I think you know, through too many pitches in my mind, uh, in a close ball game like that, I need to. I feel like I need to be out there for the seventh and eighth inning, and you know, unfortunately, I, would, I just couldn't quite keep the the pitch count down. Well, he was rusty. You could see that in the beginning. That's why his pitch count got to where it was. Um, you know, he came, wanted to throw another inning, and I just we can't do it. That's why we gave you the time off. You know, we 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 aren't here to tax you. We're here to make sure you can get through the month and play in you know into postseason. So he said, "Yeah, I know," but he's. You know, that's that's his mentality, and I certainly didn't understand it. But, uh, you know, we just couldn't run him back out there. You know, the, the big picture is, um, you know, going forward. And, and, you know, although I wanted to stay out there, it was you know, ultimately his call. And, and uh, you know, hopefully those innings saved can uh, keep us playing into October. Well, if you think on 103 pitches, if you think about this game, really the strength was Matt Harvey with six great innings, no walks, eight strikeouts. Clipper, the strength of that bullpen. He had a scoreless inning. Familia, an overpowering inning. But they're looking for that seventh inning guy. Varek got the chance tonight. He couldn't do it. He gave up two home runs in that inning. Then Torres came in later. He couldn't do it after a great day yesterday. Three more runs, and that was the difference in the game. I'm going to go ahead. I haven't looked at the uh, video yet, but I'm going to go ahead and assume that I was missing arm side. Um, I, I feel like I throw some, uh, threw some balls well that they uh, miss hit. They still went in for uh, base hits. And obviously the ones that they hit really hard, I'm going to go ahead and assume they're arm side when they're supposed to be away. My job is to go out there and get outs. And um, I didn't do it today, and that's all that really matters at the end of the day. So the Mets' seven-game winning streak ends. They're still six and a half ahead of the Nats in the National League East. Game two of the series on Saturday afternoon. Our coverage begins on at 3.30 on Picks 11. Jacob DeGrom pitches against Joe Kelly. And that'll do it for WB Mason Postgame Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.